Um, picking up this crazy low, man. It's going to PA from Tennessee to PA. So, I mean, this is paying me $1,300, baby. That's the hustle, though. Check it out. So here we have, I don't know what type of boat it is. You guys who do fishing or that you might know. I had no clue what is this, man. It's at 15. So I'm taking this to Pennsylvania. And uh, I haven't checked uh, to see how far it's going yet. But uh, I will keep you guys updated and uh, to see how many miles and how much money I'm getting and all that cool stuff. So, yeah, you know, there ain't no way you can strap this. Uh, just make sure, like, it close to, to the wall over there. But this one right here, I know it's going to end up sliding all the way out there because that's the way they low it. That's not me. You know what I mean? They say it should be okay. It should be okay. There's nothing I can do. Uh, I cannot strap it. All right? So everything looks good. So it's time to go to Pennsylvania. This law is due for delivery tomorrow. Today's Friday and pretty much everything is closing down. But I'm going to be on my way all night and see how long. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, I have to punch in the address to see. I'm hoping that it's not more than the DOT time. All right, because if it's more than the DOT time, I'm going to have to stop somewhere at the truck stop and sleep and then deliver the next day. Yep. Man, this is your boy here, man. I just got at my deliver site, and uh, it's 10 o'clock, so as we speak right now, it's 9.15. So, you know, that's the reason why I had to stop at the rest area, because this area, man, there ain't no parking over here. So take that from me. If you have a few hours or something, and you arrive a little late at night, and instead of coming at the deliver site and just be in the parking, uh, you know, just find a closer Walmart and just kind of relax so that, you know, you take your time to be here or something. That's all, it's all depends. It all depends. But to me, I feel like I don't want to come, you know, as you guys see behind me, there's my truck out there. You know, if I was going to be here at five o'clock in the morning, that's what I was going to park, right? You don't want that. This is like a very small street. It's a beautiful little town. You know, let's check out the lake real quick. Now, I don't know what to do out here, but it seems like uh, it's a you know beautiful town here in Pennsylvania. So it's kind of like New York, though. <laughs> it's kind of like New York. So it, if you got a boat, you can go for a boat ride, right? So it's pretty interesting. I kind of like it. But, you know. So that's my truck there, and I'm waiting for whoever's gonna come and load me. I don't know what's gonna happen, but that's not my problem. Like I say, my job is to do the whole transporting thing and kind of like, you know, just get to the destination, you know, <laughs> whatever you do with your package, that ain't my problem. So yeah, man, uh, you guys are my family. I try to share every little step with you guys. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. If you know your deliver is kind of like, you know, ahead of time and you arrive in the middle of the night. So this is it though. I also, I also want to go on top of the little, you know, hotel thing. Like some, some people are like, oh, why are you sleeping in the truck? Okay. Uh, I got here. My, my deliver is what? 10 o'clock, right? So, you know, I was, because my deliveries were 10, 10 o'clock in the morning and I knew my deliver was 10 o'clock in the morning. So I was killing time on my way you know if I was gonna like go straight like just drive I would have you know my ETA was gonna be like maybe two o'clock in the morning you know my, my actually my first ETA when I pick up the law yesterday it was 1 1 30 in the morning right so imagine you drove from your pickup to your dropper you got that 1 30 in the morning what will you do brother talk to me talk to me what will you do are you gonna go to Motel 6 or Motel 8 or Holiday Inn just for that few hours? No. You might have to find a spot in your truck. That's why we sleep in the truck. That's a situation like that got you to sleep in the truck, right? You know, so because of that, I didn't want it to, uh, uh, you know, just drive and come out here and give myself that headache because I know the deliver is like 10 o'clock. I got more time. So I was killing time, killing time taking my time, you know, get out of the truck stop, just go in the bathroom, 
you know, answer some of your comments and stuff. Those are, that, that's the time I take to do stuff like that, you know, answer comments and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? While I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> so, you know, just to kill the time because I knew that I was going to kill it if I just step on it. I was going to kill it and be here at 1 o'clock in the morning. And that's not what I want to be here at 1 o'clock in the morning in Pennsylvania in the middle of nowhere. See what I'm saying? So I was just killing it at each truck stop, few many, each truck stop, few many. And I stay end up getting here, you know, on time. So that's it. I want to share stuff like that with you guys. So when you're stepping into this business, you need to come with your sleeping bag. Come get some pillow. This pillow from Walmart, you can get a cheap one, five bucks or seven dollars. When you're done your three weeks, throw it away. You don't have to take that home. You're coming back for another three weeks, you buy another one. Hey, it's up to you. If you want to keep it, keep it. You know, for me, uh, I just throw it away because I don't wrap the pillow with any sheet or anything like that. I just sleep on the pillow straight up so it could be dirty. I see no reason keeping it after. It's just five bucks, man. Throw it away. So, you know, come on with your sleeping bag. Come on with stuff. Heavy jacket. It's a little chilly right now. That's why I got this this, this uh, light duty jacket on. You know what I'm saying? You got to see what's going on, right? So, like I said, I have like two type of jacket. When it's super cold, I, you know, I get in the heavy one. So you want to have stuff like that in your truck. Two set of jacket, you know. One for the, you know, light you know, light weather, and then one for the heavy duty weather, you know what I'm saying? So, that's it. You know, you wanna come for maybe two or three pair of shoes, extra socks, I got like 10 socks, man. Cause, you know, you use one pair of socks all day, you know, at the end of the day, you drop it, you know, otherwise it's gonna stink, you see what I'm saying? Real quick, man, I I thought I was done, but I, I would never be done with you guys, all right? Uh, this is something that just came up and I want to share that with you guys. All right. Uh, this address I'm out right now is actually the old address for the company that I'm delivering for. So for some reason, that's the address the broker gave me, right? All right. But then when I pick up the law yesterday, the address that the shipper gave me is a different address. But usually you go by the address that your broker gave you. You don't go by the address that the shipper gave you. No. So if the broker send you the email for a different address, even if it's in the same city, go for the address that your broker gave you. The reason today, that's what I want to share that with you a little quick. So you go for the address the broker gave you, you arrive, right? And then if the company moves to a different location, what you do, call your broker or email your broker, hey, uh, the address you gave me, the company is not here. All right, so they're on a different location because you you already see the the address that the shipper gave you, right? It's different, but just keep quiet about it and go all the way to the address that the broker gave you. All right, a broker know what they're doing. You see what I'm saying? If the company did not update the address, that's not a broker problem. The broker only do those things based on the address the company gave them. So maybe this broker been with the company since they were on the old address, so they moved to the new address, they did not update that with the broker or something, that's between them. So you go to the address the broker gave you, you arrive, boom, time for deliver. If nobody show up, call the broker and say, hey, uh, I'm at this location, but there's nobody showing up. And then the broker will call the, the, the receiver and say, hey, what's going on? The driver is at the location. At the location. Then the receiver will be like, oh, he's at the old location. We move or something or something, right? Then the broker will call you back and say, okay, you need to move to the new address, which you already knew about because the shipper gave you the new address, right? Then you're going to move to that new address. But then the broker will have to pay you some money for that extra mile. You don't move this truck for, for, for free, man. If you move this truck for even half a mile, you... If it less than if it less than a mile, the broker not gonna pay you. But if anything like one mile, two miles, they gotta pay you for that difference. All right, because these things they suck gas. All right, so that's what I, uh, I I'm running into right now. So I'm gonna go to the new address. All right, so I just contacted the broker and everything. So we got an agreement. But unfortunately for me, it's 0. 0.6 miles away. So it's just down the street. I'm not gonna get paid for that, guys. I'm just doing it for free. But you know what? I'm sharing that with you guys, though. 
I'm sharing that with you guys. So keep in mind, okay? Let me show you guys what it do here. Because remember, I show you guys the package, right? It's like a plastic boat. So this is what they do. I think they, they sell then or they rent then or whatever, all right? Because of the, the, the lake or the river, people rent them and go on, you know, for fishing or something, whatever, fun. So that's kind of things like that they do. So I'm pretty sure they, they're gonna line them on top of their wood. <laughs> so there's like a dozen of them. You know what I'm saying? Man, this is Pennsylvania though. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a, you know, we a nice time. But your boy is not all about the cold, man. I, I got tired of cold weather. I moved down to North Carolina. I'm feeling good back there. All right. Peace and love, man. I'll let you guys go. I can't keep you guys all day long, man. Yeah, but I got a couple more videos coming up, baby. Yo, real quick, right? I, I was sitting here, and the, the, the owner of the shop, he showed up. Because they got to unload me, though. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, oh, yeah, um, we're going to do it a little quick. And then, so you be out of here. I said, okay, um, you got somebody to, to help you unload this boat? He said, oh, yeah, me and you can do it quick, you know. I said, no, I don't, um, I'm a transporter. I didn't say I'm a transporter, but I'm just telling you. I said, no, I just do the driving. I don't touch the package. So, unfortunately, I cannot. But if you want, if you want, I'm going to email your, the broker a little quick and tell him that you need my help so, he, you know, he could pay me. He said, oh, no, it's okay. I'm going to call, you know, a couple of buddies to come help me, and then we're going to unload that. You see what I'm saying? So people want you to work for free. Be smart, boy. Don't don't put yourself out there working for people for no reason. You drove all night. Your job is do the driving. This right here, be on the road. Be on the road here. All we do is driving. It's just like a semi-truck driver. A semi-truck driver don't touch the load. So same, same stuff as a box truck driver, okay? The only difference is semi-truck driver take more, all right? So consider yourself as a, uh, as a semi-truck driver, like right below the semi-truck driver. That's how you are, all right? You pick up the load, you drop it off, you open your door, don't touch it. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Your boy is telling you right now, man, don't touch it. Because if I don't share this stuff with you guys, these people are going to use you like crazy and go, oh, my God, my, my body hurt. I, I lift this heavy stuff. No, 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 no. Boy, you are a transporter, okay? You are a transporter. Your job is to drive. I drove all night. I got here safe at the destination. I'm staying out here waiting for you. He said, oh, I got a couple of buddies coming over. I said, yeah, whatever, but I don't mind, you know. I'll sit and wait. Anything more than an hour. You're going to get charged for that. So, yeah, I just want to let you guys know, man. Like I said, um, if you, that's the reason why I don't want to do Amazon because of, you know, pushing, pallet, jack, deal. No, no, I come out here, do my three weeks or two two weeks, I go home. I don't want to touch anybody low. If I have to touch it, boy, I'm getting paid. Especially this this type of low, I'm getting paid maybe more than $100. Because we did, we're talking about boats, all right, plastic boats. I ain't going to live like 17 plastic bowls for, for less than $100. You know, I would tell the broker straight up, that's heavy stuff. So I, I need to get paid more than that. And he's not, he not waiting to do that. So because of that, he said he's going to call a couple of buddies, right? So I'm telling you, man, you are transporter or soon to be transporter. Don't touch the package. If the customer asks you to touch him, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not me. Don't feel like, oh, I don't want to be me. No, 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 no. Just tell them straight up, this is not my job. I, all I do is driving, sir. Oh, ma'am, I'm sorry. If you want me to help you out, I will call the broker and let them know so I get paid for my time. When they hear that, they'll be like, mm, you know, just like he said. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Don't don't battle. I'll call buddies. You know, they can't help me out. That's it. You know, so he thought he got like a... Uh, some free help. I drove. I got your package saved. That's my job. What? What? Your boy, man. Yo, I will keep throwing information on you guys. All right? Y'all stay safe. Peace and love, man. Peace and love. All right?